what we're going to be going over here is the budgeted balance sheet budget. And what we're going to be looking at is just an overview of what's included here. We're not going to go into any great detail on the numbers that would be included here for our balance sheet, but we'll look at how we'd set it up and what we would include. So for our budgeting purposes, we start out with our master budget, and then under our master budget, we have our operating budget and our financial budget. So what we're looking at is this balance sheet budget. So this is the last budget that we have to develop here under our master budget. So our balance sheet budget here is included under our financial budget, which includes our cash budget and our capital budget. And then we get down to our balance sheet budget that we're going to have to develop. And what's flowing into this balance sheet budget would be items here from the income statement budget here under our operating budget. So in order to get to the income statement, we have to go through all, we have to know our sales budgets, our production budgets, our selling and administration, and all those budgets associated under production, direct materials, direct labor, factory overhead, and then that would go into our ending inventory, and then our cost of goods sold here would be the cost of those up our budgeted items here that would be budgeted for sales and those would flow into our income statement. So balance sheet is the last budget and it depends on all the other budgets that we have here under the master budget. And the other thing we have want to note here is that uh, this cash budget, we have those uh, movements of cash or budgeted amounts uh, going from our sales budget here. Revenues are going or being collected here off our sales budget and they're going into cash budget. And then the cash budget also has payments that are going to the selling and administrative, administrative supports here. And then also payments, uh, cash payments being made to all those production operations that we'd be looking at. So we've got this interaction here between our financial budget and our operating budget. And it's all being accumulated here and the final numbers are going into the balance sheet. So we're going to be specifically looking to get these numbers for the balance sheet. They're going to be coming out of really uh, items here out of our sales budget and of course out of our cash budget. And then we're going to have being taking stuff out of our ending inventory budget here. Now remember, in order to get the ending inventory here, you have to develop your sales budget and you'd have to go, all these other budgets have to be developed. And then the other uh, main item here would be the income statement. We'd have to, budgeted amounts are going to come out of this income statement and so go into the balance sheet. So really we're looking at these key areas here, our sales budget, our cash budget, our ending inventory budget, and then our income statement budget. So we'll be getting our information mainly from these areas here that would be included in our balance sheet budget. Okay, so what we're going to be looking at here in, in order, this is what we would do here for preparing the budgeted balance sheet. It really involves A here, information from the previous period's balance sheet. B, information from the various operating sub-budgets, those we looked at. And then uh, 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 item C here, the cash budget and other accounting records. And that would include the capital budget as well. Okay, so basically that's how we would set up our, uh, determine our budgeted balance sheet, where we're going to get all this information from. So let's just go and let's move up here and just look at a layout here for the budgeted balance sheet. And again, I don't have any numbers here because uh, it would be difficult. We went through a number of videos to develop these numbers here for this budgeted balance sheet here, but I didn't put them down here because it might be a bit confusing. We just want to know what is included here. So for our budgeted balance sheet, Let's say we start out with our assets here, and then we would have our current assets here, and that would be our cash amounts, and those are coming out of the cash budget. And then we're gonna have an account, and this is just a basic, uh, show, uh, just showing a basic uh, balance sheet here. It could be much more involved, but we just will show at the basic item. So aside from our, ca our cash coming out of our cash budget here, then we have accounts receivable, that's coming out of our sales budget, and again, our previous balance sheet. Then we're going to have direct materials. That's coming out of the ending inventory budget. And then we have our finished goods coming out of an ending inventory budget. So that would comprise our current assets here. Then the next would be our long-term assets. This is where we're going to have land. That would be the previous balance sheet and any budgeting activities for the period here. And then it would be buildings. And that would be the previous balance sheet again plus any budgeted activity here for the buildings. And that would be in, out of our capital budget. <coughs> and then we're gonna have equipment here. That's coming out of the previous balance sheet and budgeted activities. Then from 
all our long-term assets that we have would have accumulated here. We'd have to subtract out any accumulated depreciation for the period. So netting our accumulated depreciation against our, all our long-term assets, then we're going to come up with our total assets here. Total assets would be okay, so current assets here and our long-term assets. Again, this is just showing a basic outline here. There's a whole number of items that could be included here under your current assets and long-term, but I'm just showing the basic uh, items that we'd be looking at here. And then moving away from our assets, then we move into our liabilities here. Then we'd have our current liabilities. Those would be the accounts payable, and that would be coming out of those operating sub-budgets that we've looked at. And then we'd have taxes payable. That would be coming out of our income statement. So for those would be our basic current liabilities, and then for our long-term liabilities, the, we would have uh, a our, we'd have to include all those long-term liabilities as well here. So we'd come up whatever they would be here. So we'd end up with our total liabilities here. And then uh, both current and long-term. Long-term would be the, again, land and buildings and so forth here. Uh, the liabilities on our, what we'd have here in terms of bonds or bonds payable and so forth on the any borrow, borrowing monies. I'm not showing it here, but that would be what we'd be talking about for any financing of the uh, operation here of the company or the opera factory that we'd be looking at and so forth. And then after our, we'd have our, determine our total liabilities, both current and long term. Then we would have thirdly here our shareholders equity, and that would be our common stock, which would be coming out of the previous balance sheet plus any budgeted, budgeting activity for the period and then retained earnings, again, coming out of our previous balance sheet and also the income statement here for the period. And then, so we would have our total shareholders equity here, add that up, and then our total liabilities here plus our shareholders equity here, uh, we'd, we'd have listed here as our total liabilities plus our shareholders equity. And those would be balanced. This, this amount here that we're showing for total liability and shareholders equity should be an equal amount or a balance with our total assets we have here. So we have our total assets up here, and then we would take all our liabilities, current liabilities, long-term liabilities, plus all our shareholders equity, common stock retained earnings, total those up, and they should balance with our total liabilities and shareholders equity should balance with our total assets. So just went through the basics here for a budgeted balance sheet, and just to understand what would be included and where we would be getting that information from.